Hi guys! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel to a little bit of everything. This is Zeke, and in case you guys don't know who he is, he is my brother. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys go check out his channel. His and channel this is will my speaker. His channel will be linked in my description, so make sure you guys go check out his channel. So today we're gonna be doing another Etsy small business. <laughs> Mexican that you can think of. Make sure you guys like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you guys can be notified every time I post a and new video. Notifications. Package opening. And today's Etsy business is your boy Blue A. And this Etsy shop is a small business. Alright, so the first snack that we have is so, uh, yeah, this is the fruit roll-up. He does sell this one. This is the fruit roll-up original tahin. I'll put the prices and the pictures on the side so you know how much they cost. Much. <laughs> in the, basically in the packaging, this is how it looks. It is just a regular basic fruit roll-up covered with chamoy and tahin. So let's try it. <laughs> Let me try it. That's sticky. <laughs> mm. It tastes good. It's really sour. Just a little sour. It tastes good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's sour. <laughs> so, this is like how it looks. It's basically just the fruit roll up and covered in the tahin, and you can see it right there. Do you like it? Okay, um, out of a 1 out of a 10, I think I would give it a 8, probably an 8. It's kind of very sour and it's kind of sticky, but it's really tasting good. Yeah. Did you like it? What do you give it? 1 out of a 10. Mm, 1 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for the second candy, which one are we going to do next, Ezekiel? This one. Okay, so which one is this one? This one's the Gushers with mango and tajin. Mango, the mango flavored tajin. So this is what it looks like. Here's a little close up. What does it taste like? Um, sour. I think I got orange. Mm hmm. I think it's green. They taste really good. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of the blue ones. Whoa! Yummy, my tummy. Mmm, that tastes really good. The can tastes really good. So once again, I'll put a picture right here of this product, and this is the Gushers with mango flavored tahini. I give this a, a nine out of ten. I love Gushers and I love mango, and together it tastes really good. What about you, Zeke? Mm, good. Okay, so what is the next candy, Zeke? Hmm. Baby dip. Oh, yay, another fruit roll-up. These ones are really good. Okay, so the next one is the another fruit roll-up, except this one isn't the original. This one was the original. This one is the strawberry tahini. I think this one is going really good because we love strawberries. So I'm excited to try. Are you excited? Okay, let's try this one. Oh, okay, so it looks really good. This is how it looks. Same thing as the other one. So here's your piece. It's Show it to so the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this is my piece. Ah! Actually, really good. Tasty. It's kind of sour though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I like it. Yeah, I like it. What is our next candy Z? Okay, so next we have Gushers, the strawberry tahin one. This one looks really good. I'm excited for this one. This is a closer look. Did you like that one? Mm -mm. 
No, I really like that one. It was actually a little bit spicy, and that's kind of surprising because the mango one wasn't spicy at all, but the strawberry one was spicy. Maybe this one was the hot version because I know they have like um, extra spicy tahini flavors, but I don't know. That one Are you okay? But I give this one probably a 10 out of 10. Okay, so this one is our next candy. Sour Patch Mango Tajin. This one. Spicy. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be spicy, but this is how uh, it looks in the end. You can get one. Show it to the camera. Okay. And this one's mine. And this one's mine. Sour. Those ones are really sour. It was good. the green one was really sour, huh? Yes. But it was really good. And number I really it. it was really good. A number one out of ten. What do you give it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I give this candy a seven point five. It was really good. Don't get me wrong, but it was kind of sour for me, like super sour. But other than that, it had a really good flavor. So I really like that one. Other than it being sour. Okay, so what's gonna be our next one? All right. Okay, so this one is the Skittles Mango Tajin. Let's try this one. Oh, this is how it looks. Same. Oh. Yeah. These ones taste really good, and they're not that sour. Those ones are. I give this one like a 9 out of 10. Although I didn't taste any mango. So what do you give it? Did you like that one? Yes. Yeah? So our next candy is Skittles Strawberry Tajin. <gasps> so the Sour Patch Strawberry Skittles Tajin was like really um, sour. So let's hope that this one isn't, but... Smells good, smell it. Okay. This is how this one looks. Oh. <laughs> mm, yummy. So we get Okay, here's a fun fact. I don't like any candies that are orange flavored. This is how um it looks. Mm. I just found one. That tastes good. It's not sour at all. I give that one. An 8.5. That one tasted better than the mango one because I could actually taste the strawberry in this one. I don't know if it was like because I got a red one or not, but it tasted like strawberry. The last one is this one. It's the Sour Patch Watermelon. Okay, so this this is the <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. It looks. <laughs> this one tastes good. It tastes like watermelon a lot. I give this one a 10 out of 10. I think this one was my favorite one out of all of them. Zeke. Which one was your favorite out of all of these right here? This one and this one. And Both this of those? One. Okay, my top two favorites would probably be the Sour Patch Strawberry Tajin and the Gushers Mango Tajin. And my brother's top two favorites, he said, are the Skittles Mango Tajin and the original Fruit Roll-Up Tajin. So those were really good. These candies are super affordable and they're super cheap and they taste really good. So I'd really recommend to go to your boy Bluey and I'll put his name right here. And I'll also put his Etsy, his Etsy shop in the description below so you guys can go check. So those were all of the candies. So you guys can see it more clarified of how many I got. I got eight candies come in like group of sections. So I got two Gushers and here are the two Gushers. I got Strawberry and Mango Tajin. I got two different Skittles, Skittles and Strawberry and Mango Tajin. I got one Sour Patch Kids in Mango Tajin. And I got one Sour Patch Watermelon in Strawberry Tajin. And I got two Fruit Rolls. One is made out of OG Tajin and the other one is made out of Strawberry Tajin. All of these were really good and I really recommend them. So make sure you guys go check those out. Now we're going to move on to the next product. So the next product here that I got, he sent me this $10 random mexican box and this is how the box is sized just like this and you can kind of see a little bit to hear what might be inside here is the packaging and then here is like the note that came inside of this package and it says angela thank you so much for your interest in my products i hope it goes well in your youtube channel i set up a promo code angela10 and it gives 10 percent off orders to people who order for me promo ends 4 30 21 april 30th of 2021 once again thank you at your boy blue you guys are just here i do have a code that you guys can get 10 percent off in your purchases and that is angela 10 so make sure you guys put that code 
like at the end when you do checkout. And I'll also put in the link in the description. In this $10 random Mexican box, in the inside, you can just see this box. And it has this like super, super cute blue inside. And this is like the whole box with all the snacks and stickers. So I'm just going to try to show you guys as best as I can, like one by one, what's inside of here. So in this package, it's obviously just like, you know, clothes with a thank you sticker. And I have a whole bunch of stickers in here that I got that are like super cute and awesome stickers. But the first one says, let's stay home. And it's basically just this black sticker in cursive and it's a triangle. And the second one is this Among Us sticker. And in case you guys aren't familiar with what Among Us is, it's just a game app where you can play with friends. And just where you can play with friends and just random people that also play the game. And basically what it is is there's one imposter among people and that imposter uh, disqualifies other people. And you guys have to try to use the evidence on who the imposter is. So this is the sticker and it does have that avatar arrow on the head. So I don't know if I'm mistaken, but that might be the, um, I don't know if it's an anime, but I know it's on Nickelodeon, so I don't think it's an anime, but it does have that avatar arrow on the top. It came with another sticker and this sticker is like a rainbow gem, a super cute rainbow gem. And then it comes with this Ariel. I love Ariel. I love Disney so much. And you can just see her with her red hair and her purple like shell swimsuit. Inside this box, I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I can what's in here because there is a whole. So in here, there are some of like, you know, these Mexican bowl candies that do have like that inside and it's chile. So we got like watermelon, mango ones. We also have piquetitos. I think that's what it's called. And these ones are called pica gomas. And there's also some like de la rosa mazapan, like a candy that's like peanut butter flavored. So if you guys are allergic to nuts, do not get these because these do have nuts in them. And then we have these ones are my all time favorite candy, Goras or Lochocas. Lochocas? I don't know if it's Lochocas or Locoras or I don't, I'm, to be honest, I'm not really sure. But and we have a de la rosa chocolate style bars. I've never tried these before, so I'm super excited to try these. And then it also includes the um, Aldama, Aldama milk candy wafers. I've never tried these either, but I see them at like a whole bunch of family parties. I just never like pick them up. And then we have a whole bunch of like the little tamarindos, like the little mini ones. These are so cute. And then my favorite, favorite like Mexican candies that are like Argeo sour um, are these lemon seven packet candies. These are like so good. I love these. And it's basically just like um, salt and lemon powder. Got these fuego, the mini ones. And these ones are super good. I love these so much. And then we also have, you know, the bubble gums. You know, we have the elote spicy lollipop. And then we also have the paleta malva boni pop, which is basically just like a chocolate marshmallow lollipop. If you love marshmallows, I really recommend these. And we have the pulparindo. These ones are so good. Pulparindo or tamarindo, whatever you want to call it. But they do have different flavors. And this one is a really good one. A tamarindo. To be honest, I've never tried this before. But it's something that I'm looking forward to trying. We have the canels. I don't know if that's how you say it. Like the little, you know, burger candies. Uh, we have the Lucas gusanos. So it's like just um, liquid candy, chamoy basically that's in here and you just squeeze it, you just squeeze it like this and it like shoots in your mouth. And Duvaline, my favorite with flavored chocolate, strawberry and vanilla, have, um, moti motitas. I'm not sure, I think this is gum, but I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure, but we have like two different flavors here. Uh, vasitos with tamarindo, the small version. We have la, la mano lollipops and you know just... And then just Lucas, more Lucas, and these are like the little version and the powder. We have the powdered Lucas. So that's what basically comes in this box, including the stickers and everything else. This box is $10, and I would really recommend it if you would want to get it, you know, for a birthday gift for someone that you might know that loves Mexican candies. I think that'd be a good idea for a birthday gift. Or also, if you're going to be doing like giveaways, you can also buy this to use as your giveaways. Or, you know, as a prize or, you know, just for yourself to snack on Mexican candies. I think that's a really great idea. And again, it's only $10 and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. So I really recommend it. I give this box a 10 out of 10. Don't forget to use my code ANGELA10 to get 10% off. Now we have the Mexican soda. So we have three different ones. We have, um, I think this is Fago, Figo. I don't know how you want to, how it's supposed to be pronounced. But it's a 23 ounce and this is... Pineapple watermelon flavor. We have another 23 ounce of red pop, which I think is just strawberry. The last one, a cream vanilla soda. I've never tried any cream vanilla soda before. Which one should we try first? This one, the cream soda? Okay, so first we're going to be trying the cream soda. Going up. Ah, okay. 
Okay, do you want to try it first? Okay. Yummy! Good! It smells... Yeah! It smells like what? It smells like um, white chocolate, like the ones that they use for... I love it. Um... That tastes really good. You need taste? Yeah, it tastes really good. It tastes very different from what I would expect from a soda because, you know, from a soda, um, you'd expect it to taste, you know, like more, not fresh, but, you know, like, how do I explain it? Like more fruity, but this literally tastes like you're drinking a vanilla cake pop or like a um, cupcake or like one of those cake pops from Starbucks. That's literally what it tastes. I didn't say this one was my favorite, but it does have a good flavor. Good. And if you like cream sodas and you like the flavor of drinking, you know, a cake pop from Starbucks, then I would get this. But it almost actually tastes like root beer float too, now that I think about it. But if you do, like, because, like, also in the picture, it looks like you can use it as a root beer float. So if you have vanilla ice cream at home, you can just see if it tastes good with this, and I'm sure it will. And the next one that we're going to drink is the red pop one. I'm excited for this one because I love, like, anything strawberry. Smart. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Wow. It smells like um strawberry Fanta. What? Why does it smell bad? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't taste like strawberry. It tastes like it tastes like bubble gum. It doesn't taste like strawberry. It actually tastes like bubble gum. I'm kind of surprised with all these flavors, but like not in a bad way. In a pretty like good positive way. Because it says red pop and I see strawberries like on the bottle. So I expected it to taste like strawberries. It actually, it tastes like a bubblegum raspado. No, um, so next we have the pineapple watermelon. Okay. It smells straight up like watermelon. Tasty? I turn again. Watermelon? It, it tastes like the watermelon lollipops, like the Mexican. It tastes like watermelon. I'll give it that one. Those tasted really good. I really like those. It had a really good flavor. And I. This and the is cream my soda. Variant. This one was his favorite. My favorite was the watermelon and pineapple. Y'all tasted good. Oh, I loved all of these snacks. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Thank you so much. This $10 box was very creative. And all the candies that were in here were amazing. And it was really great. If you guys were able to stay to the end of the video, thank you so much for all the support. And don't forget to use my code Angela10 to get 10% off all of your purchases from the store your boy Blue A. And I'll be sure to put a picture here of his Etsy shop. And I'll also put his Etsy shop in the description down below. My code in the description down below. My brother's YouTube channel in the description down below. And also the prices and all that in the description down below. Thank you guys so much. And I just have one last thing that I want to show you guys before I end this video. And what I want to show you guys is I recently got one of the makeup eraser. <laughs> the makeup eraser makeup remover cloths. The reusable ones. And these are really like, you know, earth safe to save the earth with global warming instead of, you know, using wipes. This is an actual cloth and all you have to do is put the cloth in water. You also have an option to use a makeup remover like liquid if you'd like. You see here in, in their card it says no excuse for single use. And in the back it says the original makeup eraser. And right now they have an exclusive an exclusive offer where you buy two of the makeup erasers you get one free and i don't know if you knew but 1.3 million wipes are used daily and today in these days their mission is to eliminate unnecessary waste from our planet one less makeup wipe at a time so if you guys post like you know a picture make sure you tag them and put hashtag no more wipe code no more wipe. i believe to get like some discount or something and it's limited time only. And that is their Instagram. If you guys want to follow them, I'll put their Instagram down below in the description. But their Instagram is Makeup Eraser. Make sure you guys go check them out and tag them if you guys do buy this. So this product is 100% vegan free, cruelty free. It's hypoallergenic and dermatologist approved. 
EU approved and USA designed, and it's environmentally friendly. It's machine washable, reusable, lasts up to three to five years. This is a little cloth. So the side with the tag is the exfoliating side to exfoliate your skin. And then the side with a uh, with no tag is the face cleansing remover. So you would just like grab it with dip it in the water and then just clean your face with it. If you guys want to see me use it, stay tuned for a skincare video where you guys can see me use this. You could wash it in the washing machine with a uh, hot water and then dry it in a towel load and then also put put fabric soft and that's all so make sure you guys go get that product and their packaging is really cool like look at this it's like a literal a literal erase I tell you guys so make sure you guys go check out that product i'll put their instagram in the link in the description and go check them out also don't forget to follow me on my instagram at a little bit of everything by angela make sure you guys follow me like my post share my post on your or on your main page and also don't forget to tag three plus people in my comment section thank you so 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 Thanks much so for much watching for this video like this video yeah. subscribe and click this post to be notified Bye. when we post a new video uh, so we just want to thank you guys so much for giving both of us already up to 60 subscribers it means a lot through this journey to keep going up and up and up and having a better subscriber change Sorry, this video quality is like really bad, but this is the camera from the computer where I'm editing. But I was looking at my subscriber change and all the analytics and all that for mine and my brother's channel. And most of you guys that watch our videos aren't subscribed yet. About 56% of you around there. I don't really remember at the top of my head. So if you guys watch these videos and you're watching them continuously and you like them, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to help us grow but also if you don't want to that's okay but either way thank you guys so much until next time bye